You cancel. You hit cancel. Is are we still talking? <laughs> well, yeah, I know, but oh yeah, okay. Just want to make sure because you Quiet, did hit cancel. Quiet, I'm broadcasting. So your title for bringing you another edition of Wednesday Retro Throwback. This week we're going to be bringing you Bad News Baseball, released December 15th by the publisher Techno. One of the best baseball games published for the NES, which is commonly overlooked in my opinion. This is one of the few NES games that wait. I became Rerun a fan of as a teenager rather than a child. I did not discover it until way later. Picking up the second player controller today is going to be my nemesis, Sir Spam. Do not forget, it's a night after the show, around 10 p.m. Central, but Betty Buzzkill will be bringing you the first glimpses of Ori in the Blind Forest. Ori in the Blind Forest. Each year, 95% of homeowners won't Not have much, a plan. Not much, Skylar. But if you do... How are you doing? With all state, your rates won't go up just because of you. Good dog. Claim rate guard from all state. Are we live? Yeah. Uh-huh. Each year, 95% of homeowners won't Not have much, a plan. Not much, Skylar. But if you do... How are you doing? With all state, your rates won't go up just because... Getting played. Ah, <laughs> right. Now I can't see what the guys are saying. All right. And on to the bad news, baseball. It's been so long since I played this game. Yes, it has been a very long time since I played this. How did we ever find it back in the day? Like. Did you buy it or did we find it at? I'm, I believe that I picked it up for a cheap price at a garage sale yeah. or one of those auctions mom and dad used to go to quite often. I was kind of thinking that because I never, I never knew this game that I was little either. Yeah, we found it way later in life. Mm -hmm. and it became one of our absolute favorites. So anyways, enough with that. It's on you. First player has to control. Uh, I am first player. Oh. Um, you can't go? Couldn't move it to start the game though. No. Okay. What now? Ah. I want San Francisco. Oh, okay. Three? What if I want San Francisco? I'll take Detroit then. <laughs> <laughs> now apparently there's a girls team. A girls they, team? Yes. <laughs> A girls team. There's a secret code that you can input that it requires restarting the Nintendo, but it brings up girl players that you can use. Not a whole new, another roster of 11 players or 11 teams. <laughs> yeah, baseball is good, especially whenever the uh, umpires are bunny rabbits. <laughs> Should have been painted. Got you there. I pushed the wrong button. Damn, that guy's coming quick. Yeah, that guy's got an arm on him. He's pitching it like a cannon. Damn. 
All right, two and oh. Let's see, we can go for three. Let's do this. Oh no! I punted. <laughs> uh, dang it! <laughs> Good hit. Ah! So you knocked me out. <laughs> yeah, he's like out cold. <laughs> All right, I'm up. Stealing! Go, go, go! <laughs> you know, I was researching a little bit about Tecmo. Uh huh. That company actually started as a, like, uh, cleaning business. Really? Be yep, they were cleaners before they became, uh, into video games and everything. Huh. <laughs> Yes, I love it too, my friend. It's good stuff. Ooh, that's a fastball. Go, go, go! Oh, what? Yeah! Bunny Rabbit called it, man. There's no going back on it. You guys are quick. Go, go, go! Base is loaded. Oh. <laughs> and you're hitting all my bitches, man. You start having to throw junk. <laughs> oh. Nice. How's it going? Thanks for tuning in, Dope Dojo. We're playing some bad news baseball. Run, man, run! Oh crap! No. <laughs> Hey, you through to the pitcher. Ah! You caught me. I was trying Still to distract you. you by talking to the people. <laughs> you know, I, I saw this. <laughs> you gonna bean me, man? You don't be hey. It's not nice. <laughs> oh, almost. Wow, I got lucky there. <laughs> that was almost. Oh. Now. Uh oh. <laughs> He's all beating the bat in the dirt. What's up, guys? Thanks for tuning in. Playing some good old bad news baseball. Alright, man. All right, let's go. <laughs> That's a and fast ball. Way too fast. He <laughs> threw a slow ball. <laughs> 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 Gotta keep it fresh. You know what I think you are? You're a loony. You're a Crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, dude. Hustle. <laughs> go, 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 in the park, home run! No! Gotta hold that one. Die, go, dude. Oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> no! Oh, got him! Dang it. It's all intense. <laughs> sliding in the throwing of the ball. Yep. 
Up, up, nope. <laughs> yeah, I ended up having to use an emulator for this. Because, uh... My Nintendo, for some reason, isn't working with XSplit. It was, uh, all blurry and... You ready? <laughs> so I had to end up getting an emulator, which I didn't really want to do, but the show must go on, as they say. Yeah, yeah. Memories. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, it's interesting that this game got shoved under the rug. Oh, Ooh, Grand Slam. Wow. Hey, look. It's Mr. T, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. T. Mr. T. Bobby, go! Uh, switching up pictures. Mm -hmm. There's not too much to say about this game. It seems like it kind of disappeared in time. I tried to do some research on it, you know, to try and find out, dig up some interesting facts and things like that about this game, and there just really isn't any to be found. It's just kind of disappeared. <laughs> if there was any interesting stories, they've been eaten by time. Foul ball! Come on, Kurt, get your head in the game. That's foul. Not foul, munchies. <laughs> munchies. Yeah, they just look like those people were just opening their mouth. <laughs> 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 yeah. Dang. Come on, Willis. Oh, your will. Not bad, Willis. You know, Willis. What you talking about, Willis? Ugh. Ugh. That was way over. I was trying to get you. <laughs> <laughs> Save, save! That was it. Twice. Dang, that was quick. Changing your player? <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? Yeah, no kidding, huh? I mean, it's been quite a while for us, too. <laughs> Great. Thanks for tuning Heck yeah, thanks for tuning in to Dope Dojo. We're, this is Typo Freaking. I'm playing Sir Spam. I'm the black team. Currently. Well, not 
<laughs> go, man, go. Oh. That's what I was trying to do the first time. Damn, really. I'm so glad you threw that to third base. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so close. He threw it the first pitch. Oh, oh, I still got him. Got him. Yeah, that guy's slow. Things all knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. I really, I feel that this is one of the most overlooked baseball or sports games for the NES in general. Like I was telling, uh, we were talking about earlier, we didn't discover this game until way later. Life, one of the few NES games I became pretty attached to that I didn't actually play as a child. Yeah, like it's been out for like 10 years before we found it. Yeah. Ah, uh, you trying oh, to hit me. Yeah, I was gonna rush your mouth. He's gonna take you. <laughs> Heck yeah, me too, buddy. That's why I've been having a lot of fun doing a lot of this old school streaming. Bring back some memories. Go, Got man, you. go! Oh, no! Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> So I say we probably get one game in here, and then get, you know, fool around, get the girls team up and running. Because I've no, never, no. I've can look it up. I've never ever seen the girls. I didn't even know it was possible. Unfortunately, like I was saying earlier, I have to end up using an emulator because my NES wasn't. Responding well with XSplit, it was uh, all messed up. So I, it was like a glitch gremlin. Yeah, the glitch gremlin got a hold of it. <laughs> I like that Indian nerd man. He's cool. But like, yeah, Castlevania three. Heck yeah, I'll get on some of that here in a little bit. But probably in a day or two, my uh, wife here, Miss Betty Buzzkill, is going to be streaming a new game that just came out here in a few hours, and once we're done playing here, you guys should stick around and check it out. It's called uh, Ori and the Blind Force. Oh. Get out of there! There it goes. Another Grand Slam. Woohoo! That guy blowing bubbles out of his nose. Yeah, no, right. <laughs> Come on, Jimmy. Don't let me down. You did really not let me down, Jimmy. Thank you, Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> and Mr. And Mr. T. Oh, <laughs> uh, look, they called the tin run rule on me, man. They call it tin run rule on me. I gotta make a different team. Your team killed mine. Well, let's try the girls' team. Okay, you look it up how to get it on, and I'll go get another beer. Yeah, for that. Hey, Jeremy, how's it going, buddy? Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. to the secret controller one has to hold down and left while I have to, I'm player two so then I have to press up that's fine we got it yeah we have to <laughs> we can do it I wish we my NES would have been working with the X split but it wouldn't come through right Okay, so I'm gonna hold up. You got down and left? Holding left. Wait, down and left. I was just holding left. Oh, okay. 
Try it again. I'm holding up. I, I, I read hold down left. So I'm holding down left. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Not down in left. Got it now? Yes. Okay. Okay. It's on you, buddy. And surprisingly, from what I've read, all the girls' teams have way better stats than the boys' teams. Yeah, the music's awesome. <laughs> um, which one is? Is it just the one team to turn into a girl team, or is it they're, all the same ones? Really but cool. they're all girls. Look, the, they're all girls? Yeah, they're all the names are girls. Oh, I did not notice that. <laughs> I'm not playing with the man, you kill me. Okay. And so uh, They're good. And you want San Francisco again? Sure. They're good. You want to start with that picture? Sure. Uh, picture. Yeah, no joke, man. I've got one right here that I had hooked up, but for some reason it wouldn't play correctly through the X split. It came through all funky, so nothing I can really do about it. I mean, I've been saying for a week or so that I was going to stream this, so I had nothing. to, had to wow. re resort to getting an emulator. They, they, I'm so ashamed. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Kirby. I've that never is. seen this before. Me neither. Bad news softball. I forgot I'm on defense too. Uh -huh. <laughs> I got a free base. Yeah, it is. Alright, buddy. Here it comes. Oh, you got a hold of that one, though. Heck yeah. Get it! Dang, I think they throw harder, too. Yes. The suicide book. Ah! <laughs> get the ball still rolling out there. <laughs> I can't get it. I guess I, I, you owe me this for that last game. Ah, uh, that's, you got it. Yeah, you got the, a 10 run rule on me, that's the game is over. This is just like, what were they thinking? What kind of drugs were these people on when they made this game putting rabbits as umpires? <laughs> like, what, who was ever... <laughs> <laughs> oh, very nice. I oh, love I the N64. N64 is one of my favorite consoles. Love Jane. 64 and 64. Just so I can play Gold Knight. 007 Gold Knight. Nice. Of course, I got other consoles. This guy just got his with Star Fox 64. Cool. Only 40 bucks? Man, you gotta steal. Take that! <laughs> Dang, look at her home, home run average, dude. No, watching the playback when we were at the, the guys, the cutscenes are still boys, though. Uh, yeah, they, they are. are. Cool. <laughs> if it was a girl, we'd be like, right. Wow, total. They still pulled a pretty good switcheroo on us. I mean, because they didn't, you know. Dang, and these, the girls are like way stronger. <laughs> Knocked the crap out of that ball. Oh, 
<laughs> nice. Whoa! That came in there. No! Oh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> the rubber should win. I could have got a triple play. <laughs> oh wait, it's two outs anyway. Come on, no well. No. Help me, Fox. Yeah. <laughs> Do a barrel roll. Yeah. Yeah, good memories indeed. Except that this is pretty cool. I've never even seen this girl's edition before. Didn't even know it was an option until about a few days ago when I was trying to find some research on this game to give a, a little bit of history about it. But it seems like that's all swept under the rug too. There's not really many interesting stories or anything involving making or anything. <laughs> Flippy, yeah. Bring up Slip yes, a good memory. Wouldn't Slip you the toad? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I love the original Star Fox. Baby. Baby. Said, once this one's over, we're gonna have a short intermission. I'll be able to play some C Lab 2021 while we're getting set up. But we'll be doing oh, boring. Nice get. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, I couldn't send the runners back. I couldn't send the runners back. You got a triple play on me. <laughs> ha ha! At least I tied the score up. Mother was a hamster, and your father smelled of elderberries. <laughs> <laughs> Is there someone else up there I can talk to? No, now go away! I shall punch you this second time. I need to get into the scoreboard. Oh, 
<laughs> it is! I love the music in this game. This game is a lot of fun. I wish there was more I could really talk about it, like I said, because I tried to look it up and it seems like all the information that was about this game got eaten in history somewhere. Yeah. Not much to really like, read how about. How long have we known about this game and we just now tonight found out about the Burrows mod? Right. <laughs> what the heck? Oh! Dang. <laughs> That's awesome. Dog, oh, I didn't right past my third base. Hear that? Safe. Safe. Dang it! That's the wrong button. I did that too. Early. No. I can't afford it right now. Dang. <laughs> See how she was doing the bat? No. She was like, going, and, like, pulled up against her chest and squeezing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 111 miles per hour. Not anybody even supposed to see that ball. <laughs> no! Yes! No! Yes! Yes! No! Did you hear that? <laughs> I'm pitching. Come on. No. <laughs> Throwing 111 and mine's throwing 40. <laughs> Where's the? Let's see the other Ah, oh, very nice. No, why did you throw it to home plate? <laughs> then there's somebody else in the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Castlevania was one of my absolute favorite games. That was actually the first game that I actually purchased for the NES myself, with my, you know, for myself. <laughs> that was about Simon's Quest. I absolutely loved that game. I still have all three original copies that I had from back then, too. Another one of my favorite NES series was uh, uh, Joe and Mac. Joe was, and Mac. Yeah, that was fun. I did like the Genesis version, I think, a little bit better, the remake they did of it. But it was still fun. I remember it on the Nintendo. We used to go rent it from the store, the Albertsons. 
Because that remember, we, uh, we always get to rent a game at Albertsons, and then they give us free cookies at the deli. Yep. You know, man, that I'm... That was the 80s, 90s. I never beat Castlevania 3 either. I, tr I tried so many hours on that game trying to beat it, and no. No. No way. <laughs> Ah, right in the noggin. Uh, anybody ever play Solstice? Ricky, you played Solstice. I have? Yes. Long time ago, you probably remember it. Uh, you little wizard guy, it's like one of the only 3D games I can think of besides like Marvel Madness that has a 3D effect in an NES game. Like, it's hard to explain. You have to see I've it. I've played so many games, I can't remember. I mean, the other day I thought I had Barari Fighter, but it turned out I have Image Fight, so and they're both awesome games. I have Barari I Fighter. Love, I love Image Fight. But I thought it was... Hi. I have the ride fighter, but it got broken. But I still have the piece. All you need to do is get you. Do you have any multiples of Mario? Uh, yeah. I just you recently. Tear one open and put it in. I couldn't. Think, I couldn't find anything to grip the screws. Liz just got me the kit uh -huh. to be able to do it, so yeah. now I can. But I haven't had time. Uh, back in the when I mean, without that, you know, just pop one open and. Super good. If you ever get a chance, check out Solstice. It's pretty darn cool. I'll have to play that on here sometime for you guys so you can see it. If I saw it, I might remember it. One of those things? Yeah, for sure. Dang it, I'm letting you run up on me. Uh-huh. The pitcher's losing their juice. Awesome. Okay. Ooh, no. No. Yes. Oh, you got me. That run doesn't count. Oh, yeah, there's only one out. Okay. If there was two outs, that one out of the score would not have counted. I've been wanting to try that Resident Evil. Wait. Darn it. Dude, what was it about? Did you ever really play Resident Evil 6? No. I have it, and I've never really played yeah, it. Yeah, I was so stoked about Resident Evil 5, and I played 6, and I haven't really played it either. I, I went through the tutorial thing at the beginning. Yeah. For a little bit, and okay. Mom and Dad beat it. Yeah. Yeah, he hit somebody in the way and still got her. She was a slow. Resident Evil 6, you see, we played uh, Mercenaries a lot in Resident Evil 5. Mm hmm. They gave us unlocked when we beat it. Yeah. Wow, nice. Yeah, you, we never, we have Resident Evil 6, we just haven't actually sat down and gone through it. We played the living crap out of Resident Evil 5, though. Really? Yeah. Oh, hey, I got a fast Hard to hit. Yeah. No! Oh, you see 
nice. Dive out there and catch the ball. Yeah. Bow. That's bow. Oh, dang it. No, you should have kept running. <laughs> <laughs> you would have liked that, huh? Yes. Yes, five was awesome. I like absolutely enjoyed it. Ah, man. Resident Evil 5 was. No! Tremendously good. We had so many fun hours playing that. Yeah. All night long. All <laughs> night long. Oh no! No! Double play! Get back. See, I haven't even given it enough time to know if I like the story mode. <laughs> I didn't even wait that long. I just got busy and started playing something else. Probably Mortal Kombat. <laughs> I've been stuck on Mortal Kombat for a while now. <laughs> I like Sector. Sector oh, awesome. Nice hit. Thank you. I can't believe that they're not going to have either of the cyborgs when neither one of them died in the story mode. But they're going to be having all these other people who have their necks snapped and, you know, other brutal things happen to them. They're there. But, no. I bet you they're DLC at least. I hope they would have to be. They'll hear enough complaints that they'll make a patch for DLC, like you said. Yeah, hopefully they'll make a DLC. Later on, I'm hearing about a year or two, we're going to have it with the, the complete edition. <laughs> right. <laughs> and the ball's running fa rolling faster than No! What the crap! I couldn't catch it. <laughs> Somebody in the way. Yep. No! <laughs> go, girl, go! Ah! <laughs> I caught the ball and I went to go to, I pushed up to throw to that first box. Yeah, and then when you push up and throw, it goes to second base. Yep. <sighs> and then I mean, you're going to add insult to him. Rats. Judy! My girl. Wait a minute. That's not a lady. <laughs> <laughs> That's Mr. T.
<laughs> what, man? It's not my I fault. I can't get out of it. I know what you're thinking. It's on two... Two house in your... I'll oh, wave my private parts at your aunties, you cheesy mother second-hand electric donkey for them fighters! Yes, <laughs> very much so. Maybe this will help. Woo! And she's got an arm on her. Woo! Ah! Yeah. There wasn't nothing wrong with that last picture, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, you liked her. You found out how to... I paid her off in the dugout. Damn, what? <laughs> <laughs> Home runs everywhere. Oh, you got it! What the crap? <laughs> I did. I, I've already reached second base. I can't go back to first. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh. Donkey balls. <laughs> Donkey balls. <laughs> oh, that's that's a mean thing. Hacks. I call hacks. <laughs> <laughs> really? Home run! You're gonna get the 10 run rule for me on me again. I think that's only before a certain inning or something, isn't it? <laughs> well, there you have it, guys. That's bad news baseball. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I think I'm gonna call hacks too, man. I never been beat this game this bad before. <laughs> <laughs> he who controls the computer controls the hacks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put on some C Lab for you while I'm getting this uh, buzz kill set up for Ori. We've only got one minute. For God's sake, lives are hanging in the balance. Whew. Okay, Captain, you're all patched in. Sweet! Three o'clock. Just in time for Chopper Dave. Um, you know, Captain, cable piracy is a crime. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Chopper Dave's on. I don't remember this episode. Looks cool. We must evacuate! Three, two, this show rocks! C-Lab was totally vaporized. Does vaporize mean nothing happened to it? What in the hell? And who the heck are those guys? That's us! 
We did that 15 minutes ago. Dude, check me out. I'm like a little otter. A sexy little otter. Damn, that shockwave created a subspace fracture. Take that, subspace. Shut up. No. The damage to subspace has caused a temporal distortion. We've gone back in time. Quick, what's your watch say? It is exactly 3 o'clock. Damn, I thought we'd been blown 15 minutes into the past. Well, I always set my watch 15 minutes fast, so it's really 2.45. Why do you do that? So I'm always 15 minutes early. But if you know it's 15 minutes fast, what's the point? This is a touche. Never mind. If they hook up the cable, Sea Lab will explode again, and subspace is gonna... My God. No, 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 no. This is Chopper Dave's made-for-TV movie, Blades of Vengeance. See, he's a, a chopper pilot by day, but by night, he fights crime as a werewolf. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Stop! Stop! Call them back! Hey! I thought I sent you two pogs out to get me free cable. You did. What are you doing? We're still out there, and you've got to call us back. Most. Hmm? Got it. Easy. Easy. Don't cross the wire! Uh, Would you shut up? Sorry. Be the wire. Stupid ass. Fucking bought down. Don't talk. Oh. Damn tired of shit. You're me, man. I don't yeah. want to. Come on. I man. knew this talk. day would come. So, you're finally here, huh? Yes. From the future. What happened nice was... Nice try, doppelganger. What? We're not doppelgangers. Save it for Queen Doppelpopolis. Wait! If they hook up the cable, we're all gonna die! Sweet dreams, doppelgangers. I can't believe we're locked in here while we're out there about to kill us in here. And who the hell is Queen Doppelopolis? Shut up. No. Sea Lab explodes at exactly 3 o'clock. What time is it now? Doppelpopolis? You think that's Greek? What time is Greek it? Greek chicks are so hot. I Dude, said, what, what time is it? What semester abroad? Me and this guy Kent I played lacrosse with. We went to Crete one time. Shut up. I was a winger. Anyway, we're on Crete. Shut up. And there's this up little cafe. Funny. Did I tell you this? No. Anyway, the owner's daughter. Oh, man. She had these perfect... <laughs> was totally vaporized. Does vaporize mean nothing happened to it? What in the hell? And who the heck are those guys? That's us. We did that 15 minutes ago. Dude, check me out. I'm like a little beaver. A hot little beaver. Save it for Queen Doppelpopolis. Wait, if they hook up the cable, we're all gonna die. Sweet dreams, doppelgangers. Good. Ah! And that means there's a third set out there, about to hook up the cable and fracture subspace again. My, my God. God. Can you feel it when I do this? No. Can you feel it when I do this? No. Can you feel it when I do this? No. Can you feel it when I do this? No. Can you feel it when I do this? No. Can you feel it when I do this? No. Hey, idiots. What time is it? Exactly 3.14. Okay. Wait, the explosion happens at 3. Yeah, see, they set their watches 15 minutes back. Save it for Queen Doppelpopolis. Wait, if they hook up the cable, we're all gonna die. Sweet dreams, doppelgangers. Ah! We've gone back in time. Yes, already. Don't get all in my face. Oh, you got a problem, Doc? Hey, Quins, come on. Stormy 3 snuck in a dodgeball. Shut up. No, what time is it? Dodgeball time! Damn it, Stormy! What time is it? I said it was dodgeball time, bitch. Stormy, I'm gonna count to three. Better make that one. So there's a fifth set out there? Yes, already! It's all in your orientation pamphlet. Hey, Gwens, check it out! We built a time machine. Stormy 2's gonna go back in time and, uh, fix it all up there. You don't have the brain capacity to build a time machine. You're right. So I guess it's not so much a time machine as it is a dodgeball cannon. Say hello to my little friend. Eat it, eat it. Oh, Get out of my eyes! Wow. 
A dodgeball cannon. Let's fire it up. Nah, that thing's boring. We're into this string now. I got next. Dude, I got next. Okay, that string we gave him should buy us some time. But we need a plan. Wait! I'll just hang myself upside down to increase the blood flow to, yeah. to your brain. Quinn One's been doing that for two hours. <laughs> Not working. Somebody, please cut me down. Please. Well, somebody better think of something. The subspace damage is increasing exponentially. And the more this happens, the more chance there is for chrono distortion. I mean, look at Stormy and Quinn number 12. We're the nines. They're the twelves. No, we're the elevens. The twelves are over there. Oh, 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 for the love of God, would somebody please help me? Please. Hey, Stormies, get over here and bring your pinata bats. Over. On the way over. Over. Your watch has a two-way radio? Gasp. A talking pinata. Yeah, yeah. Can I, uh, can I see that for a second? Anything for you, magical, fat-faced, talking pinata. So, Quinn called us on the two-way radio, and we got back here as fast as we could. Hey, Madeline, I can't believe it. It's a douche. It can do anything. And we're sure you're not doppelgangers? Yes. But think of the possibilities of multiple Quinns. With our combined brain power, we could cure diseases and world hunger. Why, we could even terraform Mars and do it right this time, huh? Yeah! Nope. I've got a better idea. Attention! Attention! All Stormies and Quins, please report to the gymnasium. Hi there, can you guys hear me? It's not registering the controller. I can just do the keyboard and mouse if it's... Oh, okay. Okay, hi guys, thank you for watching Dope Dojo. This is Buzzkill Betty. We are about to start Ori in the Blind Forest. Uh, for those of you who don't know, it just came out today on Xbox One and PC. And uh, it's supposed to be a pretty heavy platformer, even though it's got some crazy visuals and stuff going on. Thank God we have a gaming PC capable of pressing pushing it to the max <laughs> for sure so I'm gonna start over on a new game so you guys can see the introduction and everything oh yeah don't be fooled by how pretty it is 
biggest tree. Honey, if you got the everything, I'm gonna eat my dinner real quick. Well, it is still pretty much a steal for $19.99. Cause I would easily pay like $59 for this. Here's Ori. As you can see, he looks kind of like a, a weird cross between Zero from The Nightmare Before Christmas and Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. He's a cute little guy. And he just... His, his movements are so fluid and bouncy. He's just really fun to play around with once you get a little further in. It's, it's a lot of fun. I like the music. It makes for good atmosphere in all these vibrant environments. It's really just a beautiful game. but we're just kind of watching them interact with their environment right now. Seeing all this beautiful freaking visuals there. Man, and you guys are not seeing the full quality that I am seeing right now, unfortunately. Oh, it is good. All right. Because we were having trouble with it the other day. Because I'm pushing it on my six core monster. Yeah, it should be pushing it full quality. Cool. I like Naru. He looks like a big fluffy dude. <laughs> So let's go investigate. We saw some light off over here. Gosh, just the attention to detail in the environment is crazy.
everything's barren now. Hmm. Let's see. So far, the gameplay is very simple. Very few motions leading into cinematics, so nothing major yet. Well, this one was made in cooperation with Microsoft, thus the Xbox exclusive and PC. Um, it is supposed to be released for the 360 later on this year, though. This game was also four years in the making. seeing a very, very different environment now. You can tell it's very much the same in the shape of the trees, but everything's dead and looking kind of ominous here. goodies back to our buddy. Hmm. He does remind me a lot of Zero from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Ghostly apparitions here. <laughs> Let's see what we find. Right in the fields, man. I agree, you get very attached to them very quickly. The whole atmosphere really just lends to it. Hmm. 
as his um, physical state just kind of deteriorates, the controls become less responsive. Okay, and that is the introduction point of the game is pretty much over. Now is when you really start to get a feel for the motions of him. It is very much a platformer, but I mean this little guy starts hopping around like some Assassin's Creed shit. <laughs> it's pretty fun. And his, the, the motions are, you have to be very, very precise to catch anything on here. It's, it's much harder than you think it looks like. Ah. See? But, uh. It is. If you don't hit it just right, he goes right over. He really, f the controls are built like he, he really feels like he's light as a feather. And <laughs> just anything will throw you off. Oh yeah, definitely. Found a small spirit light container. Spirit light has been added to your thingy. I'm guessing that's my. Oh, that's gonna be for my spirit blast. Spirit flame, I believe it's called. Find more spirit light containers and qu to quickly gain ability points. It is so hard to see back in some of these. Oh, that's cool. Sorry, this is actually my first time using this on the controller because I couldn't get it to work earlier while I was trying it out for the first time. I had to use the keyboard and mouse. Just a second, I'm actually having a, tr a problem with the controller. Okay, 
Sorry about that. I had to take over for a second. Hi there, sorry about that. I'm filling in for her while she had to go to the bathroom. I'm trying to not exactly sure what I need to do here. I know I couldn't get past this thing a minute ago, so I don't wanna walk into it again. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, dear. But then I get here. How? Really? It says that should be spirit. Not sure. I don't know what to do. Oh. Here we go.
Their light shall return to me, these words the spirit tree once said. Quickly past the caverns will find him. There's a path up ahead. Okay, well let's find the spirit tree. I believe that's a map, so we go that way. All right. Don't see what these are. I love how it's all like the grass and everything even sways when you go by. Everything's very, very detailed. Oh! Like a smarty. What are these little things? I keep targeting them and I can't quite hit them. Gosh, it's ridiculous. He's like this tiny little acrobat. <laughs> I think these are good. Huh. And straight into the water because I missed the lily pad. Damn. That's true. That's true. I was really surprised when I first started this earlier. And I am sometimes a little bit better with the mouse and keyboard because I did PC game for a long time. How difficult the controls are just right off the bat. Which is, you know, a good thing if you're up for a challenge. But it, it really does surprise you when you first see the game. Because it looks like one of those more visually and more story driven games when it's really quite quite tricky just from the outset. And I jumped over it that time and still died. Oh geez, it's just getting a handle on all these little controls. Because he is so easy to overshoot or undershoot things. Like, really, really easy. <laughs> and I landed in the patch again. That thing kills you. <laughs> Blast it, dude. blown up by stuff. I'm gonna check out the ability tree. Restore power to Ori cells. To the spirit tree. The spirit tree is what we're after. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, it's a save point. Okay, cool. A ghostly little free runner. It's cool. Um, well, we need to check the map. to go past that spirit gate to get up there. What well, said you could open we could open the spirit gate. He is adorable, isn't he? and move objects. He's so tiny. How can we move the giant rock? Sorry, having to mess with the controller settings. Hey guys, we are having technical difficulties on this end. I'm probably going to have to cut the cast short tonight. But uh, I'm thinking later on in the week I may have some more for you. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed a first look at Ori in the Blind Forest. Come back and see us and don't forget to hit that follow button.